Hey guys, I don't know if you could see me or not. It's pretty dark. Just wanted to do a really quick check-in. Some of you may have noticed that we haven't posted a video and your guys are telling me like three days. I think today's the fourth day. And we just wanted to kind of check in and let you know where we've been, what we've been up to, and kind of what to expect from here on out. First off, we're okay, no one's injured, nothing like that. The reason we haven't been publishing videos, it's actually a good thing. As we speak, we're on our way to go pick up our second load of logs. Yeah, big ones, big logs. Everything I'm about to say might be a spoiler alert. So if you don't like things to be spoiled for you, don't watch unless you really wanna know where we've been. As you know, a lot of our videos are a little bit behind or a lot of bit behind right now because we've been so busy. As we speak, we've milled up 43% of our frame and in less than two weeks from today, I think like 12 days or something, yeah. we're gonna have the entire shelter crew show up on our property and 24 people from all over the US. Yep. I don't think there's any duplicate states in there that we've seen according to the attendee list. And we need to be ready. We've been flat out hauling, trying to get this frame milled up. We're doing really well, we're ahead of schedule, we have a great system now, and we've started with all the challenging timbers first. That said, when we started this big push on the build, Jesse and I kinda had a heart to heart, and we proposed the question, what if filming and documenting and publishing daily videos gets in the way of our house being built. And honestly, we had a decision to make there where we knew we were gonna have to decide whether to keep publishing daily videos or build the house when we wanted and get it dried in by winter. But there was a chance that both weren't going to happen. So I'd say we had to make that decision a few days ago because there's so much work to do around milling the frame and it's so critical that we be ready it's not an option to not be ready so we thought like video has to go at least daily videos and we're still going to be publishing just when we have time when we're 110 percent sure it's not going to jeopardize us being ready but until then we really feel that we both have to be giving 110 percent we've been setting our alarms for 6 a.m we got some LED work lights. We've been working well into the night. We've barely been sleeping. We're skipping meals. I mean, things are just absolutely crazy around here. It's insane. We're still shooting video. Oh like, yeah, daily video. Cameras are part of our daily life. Like it's not a big deal. That's not such yep. a big deal, but the editing is phenomenally time consuming because we just don't publish. Each video takes, I'd say videos. four hours minimum. And we really don't want to sacrifice our editing because we feel that this story we're sharing, like we want to preserve it. Um, so we really don't want to rush the process. And we're pretty sure you guys don't want us to rush either. So I think going forward, what can you expect? Let me back up and say something really quick because I have a hunch that I know what people are going to say. Oh, just make the videos shorter. We've had people say that. And if, yeah, if you just roll the camera, I'm just going to, I'm just going to say right now, if you don't edit video for a living, then your suggestions are probably null and void because if you knew anything about video editing, you know that shorter videos are actually more time consuming. A lazy video editor just throws a bunch of stuff together, throws music at it, makes a video. And if you know anything about our channel, that's not how Alyssa edits videos. So um, we're, this is not a, a plea for help on how to edit videos. We're trying to inform um, you more about how we're doing. Yeah, it's a lot of you have asked, can we outsource our videos? And no, the, the answer is no. no. Yes, and no, we don't no. want you to help with our video, and no, we don't want to give you our stuff in a Dropbox. Um, we're very proud of our videos, and it's something we take personally. It's not, we're not just, we're yeah. Not and there, there's happen. really, I know while you guys like daily videos and we really enjoy publishing things real time, yeah. um, it's okay. There's just going to be a short break. Um, there'll probably be days leading up to the workshop where we will get a couple videos out in a row. And then I just want to give full disclosure during the workshop and potentially. Wow the days leading up to the workshop, we're out. We're making a vow to not publish video. Why is that? Well, first off, my parents are coming from many states away the week before the workshop to help us. And if we're not working every single minute of the day, we really want to cherish our time with them, you know, enjoying dinners, things like that. And then for the workshop, we want to be 110% present. Yep. 
we want to enjoy the workshop. We're actually gonna have some help with filming the workshop. We'll introduce who this kind man is um, yep. in a future video. Um, and that's to allow us to be hands-on, to really immerse ourselves with the home build, and we really wanna to get to know all the wonderful people traveling all this way to help us build the house. Yeah, so, can I share a couple things? Yep. One, I, I, I wanna make sure this is clear for those people who actually care, because I know a lot of people do. It is actually a massive sacrifice that Alyssa has been in editing video every day, because mm -hmm. that means she's not helping build the house and she wants to be helping build the house but we've we've agreed that we'll edit video and she can you know help with the house when she can um it, it there's no competition between her and i about who's working on the house more that's not an issue but it is a big sacrifice that she has made to edit video so we're very appreciative that she's doing that second of all we never intended to publish daily videos this long we said let's try it and let's just see and that what was happens. mostly because we had so much every day that was happening we were and we, so far we couldn't, behind we couldn't miss it we were so far behind that we're like holy crap if we don't publish daily we'll never get caught up it'll be 2020 before we have mm -hmm. all of our videos out so we decided to try it and it's done pretty good we've had a few days where the energy's gone or we need to focus on other things so i think we've done pretty doggone good because we're not just publishing crap video daily. Alyssa is putting her heart and soul into the editing and so hopefully that shows in the quality of video. But um, that's just a couple things I wanted to say. We never intended to do daily video this long and uh, we appreciate that Alyssa's made a sacrifice so that video can be edited. Yep. I do wanna say that I know Alyssa said we won't publish any videos during the workshop. We've talked about maybe doing some of the videos that are low key that we don't really have to spend a lot of time editing. So we might be publishing those during the week. I'm not making any promises, but we talked about it. So we might try to get some of those videos shot, like one of them about the truck, stuff like that. That's not house building necessarily. Or we might schedule a couple in advance, yeah. you know, if there's a little bit of downtime here and there. We may do that because so, we want to get some, some of these videos caught up. So if we can shoot some easy ones, we'll get them out. Um, uh, hold on. We're, we coffee. Coffee break. Coffee break and sandwich Coffee break. break and breakfast on the go. Hold on. Okay, the hangry should be remedied shortly. So anyways, if you guys do want to follow the build over the next few weeks, real time, or any time for that matter, follow us on our Facebook page or our Instagram if you're not already. We kind of debated like hoarding everything and saving it for YouTube, but we enjoy sharing things real time on Facebook and Instagram. It's extremely easy for us. So if you guys don't want to follow, that's fine. That's your decision. You can hold out for our YouTube videos. So hang in there. Thank you for watching. Thanks for all the support. It really helps. It means a lot. We'll be back in action soon. We just we, don't want to die in the next two we, weeks. We actually, we actually do take uh, all that. We've gotten a lot of emails asking where we've been, and yeah. we actually we appreciate that. Um, thank you. We're okay. If you see a lot of people in our videos asking where we've been, feel free to copy and paste the link to this video. It's a pretty good explanation. There you go. That's where they've been. Mm-hmm. Here. So on that note, we're about to meet our logger. We'll probably be there in about three minutes. If you're really lucky at the end of this video, I might give you a little teaser footage as to what we've been working on. Or maybe not. Guess you'll find out in about five seconds. <laughs>